Hey everybody, it's Tony from Car Stars, and it's uh, late May, All American Camaro and Firebird Association, Tennessee Valley Chapter Car Show here in Saudi Daisy. So we're gonna see if we can find some really cool cars. Check out this sick rig. Oh, this is from Sweeties. They just had a uh, car featured in Hot Rod. Oh, is it? Are you uh, Mr. Sweetie? No, this friend of mine. Oh, cool. He's in our club. It's on S10 chassis with an LT Lunette LS motor. So is that actually all-wheel drive or is that uh, two-wheel drive. Two -wheel drive? Okay. Cool. It's very cool. I, I just saw that car they built and, and had in Hot Rod. So I didn't realize they were... You know, they had their shop, but it's not really open to the public, is it? It's their house. Right, right. It's pretty awesome. They turn out some cool stuff. Wendigo. I love this sticker. I think they put that on everything. Very cool. I'm assuming some of you watch uh, these auto auction shows on the Discovery or Motor Trend. I'm not sure which channel they're on, but uh, occasionally tune in and watch them. And it's just insane how high the prices have gone on American muscle cars. Sweet. Oh, some nice cars here. Heard the guy say on the intercom that there's over a hundred cars here, which is a pretty good size turnout for a small town. Because Saudi Daisy is pretty small, but you know we're close to Chattanooga and some other surrounding areas. Beautiful car. Look at that. Looks very, looks very uh, stock. Beautiful. I mean, the newer Camaros to me are really cool and they got a lot of horsepower and the handle and all that stuff, but it's like, they're just not super interesting to me. Oh, GTA Trans Am, sweet. That's cool. He's got a uh, translucent cover on the uh, center console, and in there it looks like there's uh, fuses and stuff. No, yeah, like control panel of some kind. Very cool. Wow. Chevy 2 with a 327. Nice. I like the valve cover. Dad's 57. Bring on the stewed. Or the stews, baby. This is cool. Look at the lines on this thing. Some kind of supercharger. That is cool. Hey guys, we make the same thing. What is it? And is it really run? And that's as far as cars come by here. And I've been doing this for six years. Golden Hawk Studebaker TT. So I didn't realize that this uh, car had a supercharger. 
jet does it say jet stream supercharger that's cool on a 289 so here's another Studebaker a 63 Studebaker Avanti it's also supercharged so cool blow through carburetor Wow now look at this little vanity mirror and a little pull-out drawer how very cool Studebakers are cool man for all you v-dub lovers here's one looks pretty original I don't know about the paint being original, but it looks pretty original. Oh, look at this little tiny thing. Holy smokes. That's one tiny little car. What is it? He said he's carried it for 50 years. 1934 American Austin. 1934 American Austin. Tiny. Look how big it is compared to the VW. Makes the VW look like a, a four door sedan. Wow. That's cool. I don't believe I've ever seen one of those. All right, and we got a deluxe Chevy Deluxe. I'm gonna try not to make this car show video as long as my last one, because that last one from the Good Guys show was just too long. I don't think people have the patience to sit through it all. But trucks, trucks are a big popular deal now. And there's some really beautiful old trucks. And I love these Broncos. Love them, love them, love them. Another beautiful Camaro with an LS. No, not LS. LT swap. LT1, yep. Got a love bus. These are getting extremely popular. Inexpensive. Looks like that one's in insanely good condition. Very colorful interior. Yeah. Matches your shirt. Your uh, tie dye. <laughs> right. It's pretty sweet. All right, now here's an LS swap. The Cutlass. Beautiful Corvette. With a LT motor swap. That's actually an L98. Very cool. Uh, that's a big motor. Well, at least a big blower. A Whipple supercharger. Another beautiful Corvette. A Mustang. Another Corvette. Corvette. Camaro. I love that hat you got on, buddy. Remember what I said about never seeing Ford uh, Galaxies at car shows, at least not 65, 66, 67. Well, here's a prime example. Here's like, what, a 63, 64? I'm not sure what it is, but it's pretty sweet. I just love that center console, how it just flows in there. Look at the trunk. How many bodies can get you get in there? Let's go find out what year this is. Let's I'm gonna say 64. This is a 63 and a half, so halfway there. A 
another uh, sweet vee wee. Uh, reminds me of a story of when I was younger and my sister uh, wanted me to install some uh, running lights on her VW. She had a bug. I can't remember if hers was blue, but if I remember correctly, there's like a battery under the rear seat and somehow I ran the wiring from there under the carpet to the, the lights in the front. And what I didn't realize at the time was that the gauge of the wire that I was using wasn't sufficient to run the voltage uh, and the amperage that was flowing through there. And uh, it uh, melted the wires down and just about burned her car down. So yeah, just about killed my sister with my lousy wiring. Now this is cool, is this a Torino? Look how buff this thing looks. I mean, it just looks like a freaking missile. This is badass. Buckets. I don't know if that's, well, they're, they're clearly not factory, but they have, must have had some kind of buckets in here. It's a Gran Torino with an automatic on the, on the column, which to me does not scream performance. Next to another Mustang. But I like this Torino. It's pretty sweet. This Mustang's in really great shape. But once again, this is that same body style that I do not like. I'm very biased against that body style. That's a sweet Skylark. I'm sorry. This is a sweet Impala. Impala Super Sport. That's bad. My uh, first car, my 71 Camaro, had the same uh, trans or center console shifted transmission. Is that really carbon fiber on that hood? don't know hard to say pretty sweet though now if that color doesn't get your attention I don't know what will hope it translates well in my car I'm in my phone oh here's her these are becoming incredibly collectible these SVT Cobras the judge it has started Make sure you got your judge's sheet where the judges oh, this can one. see it. That one Trump is cherry. Hood's open. You can leave the door shut. We've got another door prize. Phil Gillen. Saudi Daisy. Scenic so here's a Corvair with the uh, flat six in the back. There's a company that modifies those motors for use in aircraft. Sweet A-Track, I wonder if he's cranking up in there. I wonder if it still works. He's still got an A-Track collection down there. Wow, this is a pretty sweet truck. Some pretty big meats back there. You know how that works. No 50-50. No 50-50. That's the strangest air cleaner I've ever seen. But if you come up to Roadhouse, they are ready. They're going to start giving away kisses. He's still working on it, looks like. He's going to put the bed in there. Nice. The kissing booth. Do you remember the kissing booth? Full Ford Model A, 1929 it says. It's funny how many of these there are out there, yet it's so old. You'd think there'd be fewer and they'd be more rare and more expensive. Oh, I remember back in the day when my buddy had a Bronco too. Uh, that was like when they kind of first came out and he had the small narrow tires and people were worried about them rolling over. Some had rolled over or something, some such thing. So they got a bad reputation. But now, you know, put some big fat meats on it. They look pretty good. I 
Old 9-11 or 9-1-1. Buddy of mine had one of these too way back in the day. This was like a 60 something. I bet he wished he had that back. It's probably worth a mint. Probably the same motor that's in the VW. Looks like he's got a little work to do. It's a driver. Well, that's about the extent of the show. Thanks for watching. Uh, please uh, stay tuned for more videos and subscribe and like. Catch you next time.